Hey, this is Tyler calling from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, I'm calling to respond to Rob from Tacoma, the libertarian, who was concerned about the hidden cost of uh, labor. Um, a worker co-op does not need to be structured very much differently from a traditional publicly owned business. Um, the workers would go to work and earn the same wage approximately that they'd be earning now. The difference is that when dividends are paid out, the excess capital that the that the company has earned, um, they would be then evenly distributed amongst the employees because, again, just like shareholders, the employees own the company. The big difference is that the employees actually do the work, whereas traditional shareholders just own money in the business, which they just get paid to, to do nothing effectively. Um, the employees would still be responsible for electing a CEO, perhaps even hiring somebody from outside the company with uh, a, a competitive uh, pay package, um, as well as executives and electing their own immediate supervisory staff. But the bottom line is that uh, the lowest workers would still earn in the company the lowest wages. Uh, there's no difference between that and a traditional company. The only difference comes at the back end when those dividends are paid out to um, the company owners, uh, and in this particular case, those owners are the employees. Uh, Jay, thanks so much for Best of the Left. Uh, you do a great job. I appreciate everything, and I hope that that answers Rob's question um, about how worker co-ops really are not that big of a difference from what we currently have. They're just more equitable. All right. Thank you. Bye now.